Amen indeed. Okay. Thank you for that review. Hopefully all of you did the work, not just some of you, but those of you who did do the work, it's going to help you on your unit test, right? And a lot of you did not too well on your unit test, okay? So make sure you are prepared. Those questions are going to help. Uh, we stopped with the bilingual stuff. Um, should there be only one official language in Canada? What do you think? No. No? Yeah. <coughs> it's multicultural. How many official languages should we have? Like seven? All hundred? All of them. All of them? No. Right? Is there is there grade tens? Is there a reasonable amount of official official languages? One's pretty reasonable. Is there a reasonable number more than one? Four? Why four? Because now you have uh, okay, let's make sure we're listening. Uh, more people from uh, Portugal and Brazil now in Canada, so making that another language that that could potentially be taught would help a lot. Okay, so should yeah. we should we shift our official languages as our demographic shifts, as you know we recognize, hey, we have more ethnic diversity than we did a hundred years ago. We should give, let's say, I mean, if we looked in this class, another language we might want is maybe Tagalog, right? Would that be reasonable? Did I say that right? No, how do you say it? Don't ask me. Well, then why are you laughing? You can't say it either. Okay. Um, is that reasonable? I feel like... I feel like there's maybe a couple of you that could understand and access that language. Yeah? Other than English, Tagalog. No, no, no. Okay, there we go. What does anyone else speak any other language aside from that? I, I don't really speak or do. I can understand it. Well, what about you? Uh, I'm part so like. Part what? Asian. Okay. So like, right. Asian fellow. Okay, okay, okay. okay, so so it seems like those are like the two main languages, right? So should we, as a school, change the dynamics? Should we have classes in? No, I'm not even gonna try to say it again. Yeah. Okay. Should we? No. No. Because there only be like six. We'd be learning this. We'd be ahead of you guys. In in what? Because in the Philippines, I had I had to I had to go back a grade when I got here because we're like ahead. Stuff like that. Oh, so there are a lot more like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah but like you'd be learning like physics and stuff in like grade six. So, because my brother when he got here had to go back two grades just because they thought he was dumb, but then he aced everything. Okay, 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 okay. okay. So, so we kind of acknowledge like just because the demographic changes doesn't mean we change all our you know language laws and whatnot, but. Um, is it fair to make everyone come here and say, hey, like we speak English here, everybody should learn English? Is that fair? Yes. Yes? Why? So, so you raise it a, a valid point. Like, people here speak English, it is our language here in Canada. And so, you know, I'm sure, like, I, I don't know about the rest of you guys and girls whose families came here, but I know my parents tell me pretty clearly that when they came to Canada, they wanted English lessons, and as soon as they could kind of speak enough, my dad said he just start, wanted to start working. You know, he they offered him, like, hey, like, you should take more English lessons and get government handouts. He's like, no, I'd rather have a job. I'd rather do something. It's kind of fascinating, right? Um, I think many people who come to Canada would love for their children to be able to access the language because it provides maybe better opportunities, but sometimes too much knowledge of English leads to chatting in the back of the class instead of, you know, participating. What's up? Something like sign language. Sign language would be pretty cool, right? Imagine if we were all talking to each other and it was silent in the room. Exactly, right? You got more gum over there? Come on, ha hand it over. Come on, sharing is caring. Sharing, sharing is caring. Come on. Oh, thank you so much. Remember, you gave that up willingly. You gave, you gave that up willingly. I just said sharing is caring. 
Can I have a snack? Did you grab one? <laughs> So, so afterwards you can do this activity. Hey, let's focus up over here. Oh, we're a little, we're a little. Yeah, <laughs> you're all running. Hey, don't just walk right in front of the camera, man. You're not. Honestly, the audacity. Okay. So, other ways that we express identity is, you know, our appearance. The and I don't know how many of you like really go out and choose your clothing and like really pick your outfit. I know you do, no, right? No, I know no, you do. Because like yesterday you were you were dressed very well. Like your outfit was on point, right? Okay. Okay. Um, back there she thinks I'm dressed like her. All she owns is a gray hoodie. Yeah, I love this hoodie, okay? And just what happens like, I don't know, two days in a row I wear something gray. Okay. And apparently I, who was born in 1996, am copying the style of someone who's born in what, 2008? 2003. I was here first, okay? So you're copying my style. I was, I was on this planet first. I was in this school first. Okay. Is anybody here wearing their favorite color right now? I already know what your favorite color is. What's your favorite color? I, I can't say your names. Yeah. Black? Gold. Gold. Okay. Okay. Red. Red gang? Red gang, anyone? Okay. Yeah, can anybody throw out the blood sign? I can't. Your gang affiliate. <laughs> what do you mean? Yeah. Shall I win? in? So I'm coach. I don't think you're supposed to be. Win the wrong one. Oh, did not Oh. Just games. Um, do you kids actively feel like what you wear like says something about you? Do you think what you wear says something about you? Yeah. 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 Like, you know those people always wearing tails? It's something that's weird, bro. Okay, 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 okay. We're not gonna ask where those tails get attached, but okay. Okay. let's uh, let's hear over here. Uh, well, I got a shirt and it has rooster on it, and I like roosters. <laughs> I like chickens as well. That's not a chicken. I know it's a rooster, <laughs> but like it's pretty similar, right? Okay, you like roosters. Roosters are your favorite animal. Okay. Uh, we we many of us agreed. Many of us agreed that we feel like. What we wear says something about ourselves. So, like, how would you describe, you know, your identity through what you're wearing? Like, what would you say? Why are you two talking? <laughs> you're like sign communicating. Anyone? Anyone? Any takers? So, I have a student. One of my former. Oh. Here. Well, it really depends, right? Because like people like they can go out really stylish. They would have like these different types of style. They would call like this like Y2K indie, and that would like. Okay, okay, okay. You know when someone's like a hooper? Like when, someone's a, when someone's a hooper? Yeah. When someone's a hooper, what do they wear? They wear like sweatpants, bro. They got, they got, they got, they like, they like walk on one leg, bro. They got that hooper walk. <laughs> sagging, sagging, uh, like, no, no. What, what does sagging your pants say about your identity? He like forgot to wear a belt. Oh, he like that. He like forgot that. to wear a belt. <laughs> what is this, do? What is this? <laughs> Gang so, so you're wearing a Hockey Canada shirt. Is that is that like a goal for you, a dream? He plays tennis. He plays tennis. <laughs> okay. It was I was on the clearance section. So I just that. Okay, okay, okay. Um, today I was told I, I look like I'm dressed uh, to go play golf. Wow. I'm, uh, I'm pretty stiff in the sideways direction because I should not play golf. It's all in the hips. Why are you two laughing? What was so funny about that? That's a golf swing. Come on. I, I took a golf class in university. Okay. 
<laughs> what uh, is this like Y2K? What is this? That's, that's swag. That's just that's just that's just a high school guy. That's <laughs> what do you mean? I, I don't see kids wearing jackets like that. John wears jackets. What's like this? That. What's this? That's like a mom, bro. That's a mom style. Mom style? Look at the boots. Look at the boots. That's, those are mom boots. Or she's like the main character in the Disney movie. Can we tell she's American? She's wearing a mom. Yeah, but the parents are dying. So she's the main character in the Disney movie, and he's the heartbreaker. Yeah, they always wear jackets. Like that, they always wear jackets. It's on, bro. They always wear jackets. Good. I hear emo, I hear Morticia, I hear... How does I look like the evil stepmother? I hear Lumberjack. There's no resemblance. We, uh... We, what's up back there? That looks like he could serve me fries with gloves. <laughs> Serve you fries with gloves. Yeah. Like, like a, looks like he, looks like he looks like a lumberjack. Like a lumberjack. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Why do you think he looks like a lumberjack? It's like a like a woodcutter. His beard and his flat shirt. like he like the the blue jeans. Flat shirt, right? The blue jeans. But like, but like, is that lumberjack hair? No. That is that's, that's, how would you describe this person? Like, uh, hey, if you were being racist, it's on camera, man. Watch it. He looks like he drives a truck. We're going to go back yeah. on the tapes. I'm going to send it to the courts. 